Sorry, tell us we're going to start out with the Shaitan of Deen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We'll do, inshallah, three ayats of Surah Al-Baqarah today. Ayat number 161, 162, and 163. So we'll do first a simple translation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayat, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-Rahim. Inna ladina kafaru, do a simple translation. Indeed, those people who did kufr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who did kufr wa matu and they died <coughs> in the state of the kufr, which means they did not make tawbah, but they died in the state of kufr or disbelief. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wahum kuffarun, while they were kuffar, while they were disbeliever and they died. Then Allah says, Ula'ika alayhim, those are the people upon whom is la'anatullah, is the curse of Allah. Such people will face the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wal mala'ikati, and the curse of the angels, wal nasi ajmain, and the curse of all the people, ajmain means together. Okay? So these people are so unfortunate that they will be cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels and all the people combined. Okay? Then Allah further says, Khalidina fiha, they will abide, they will stay in this state of curse. Fiha means in it, in the curse. La yukhaffafu, and it will not be lightened or reduced or diminished unhumul azab from them the punishment the punishment will not be lightened upon them walahum yunzarun and they will not be given any reprieve any respite so once they are in the punishment they will not be a break in the punishment okay. that's the meaning of yunzarun is then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> mentions the the tawhid here wa ilahukum and your God. Ilahum Wahid is only one God. Your Lord is only one. La ilaha, there is no other ilah, there is no other word worthy of worshipping. Illa except who him. So only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one God for worshipping. Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim and these are the two sifat or asma of Hisna of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the most gracious and Ar-Rahim the most merciful. So these are the simple translations of these ayahs. So we will inshallah look into that. The, these words like inna, Allah dina, they have been coming very often. Inna means surely. Indeed, without any doubt. And Allah Zina means those. Surely, those people are those. Allah Zina is the plural of those people. Then, after that, is the word which starts with these letters Ka, Fa, and Ra. This has the meaning of to disbelieve or to reject. Both the meanings are applied. Kafara, to disbelieve or to reject. And if we go back and look at our grammar, fa'ala means to do. Okay. And if we put a wow at the end, with an alif like that. Alif, which is not recited. And the harakats are fa, a, lu. So by adding these two letters at the end, the meaning becomes they did. Plural of third person in the past tense, did. Fa'ala means to do, and fa'alu, they did. Some people did. Fa'alu. 
So if we apply the same rule here, this will become kafar. You just put a vowel and alif there, but don't pronounce alif. Kafaru, they disbelieved. The meaning will be they disbelieved. Okay. So the word is kafaru. They disbelieved. Okay. So that's the word in the Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna ladina kafaru. Indeed, surely, without any doubt, those people who did kufr. Okay. So kafar will be here. In English, it will be translated as say, those who did kufr or who disbelieved. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about a particular group of people who disbelieved in the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hereafter, all those things are part of the belief. So those people who rejected or did not believe, okay, so this is the ayat about those people. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa ma tu, okay. So let's look at the word. Wow means end. And the next word is root letters are mean, wow, and ta. This means to die. Mautun or maut, mean wow, ta means to die. Okay. So if we apply this grammar here, on these three letters, all we do, we add a wow at the end and a lif. So the meaning will be they died. Okay, so this word will become meem wow ta, and then just wow and a lif at the end. This means they died. Okay. Now in this word it sounds like mawatu, right? Okay. Mawatu. Though this vowel with the fatha changes into the sound on an alif. Because vowel doesn't go with fatha, vowel goes with dhamma. So this letter here will change into an alif. So the word will, will become ma tu. And that is what the word is in the Quran. Ma tu means they died. So those people who did kufr, wa ma tu and they died. Okay, the death came to them. They did kufr and they Death came to them or they died. So they did not get the opportunity to repent or go back to Allah, but while they are in the state of kufr or disbelief, the death came to them. Okay? Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further clarifies in the next two words. Wahum kuffarun. Okay. So now, the word wa and hum. Okay. Wa, in this formation of the sentence, wa simply means and. Okay. But this is a statement of condition. Condition means they were in the state of kufru and they died. So it's a conditional. So this wow with a fatha is translated as while. While means when they were. Okay, while. Okay. And whom means they. Okay. And the word we just saw that kafa and ra, kafara means to disbelieve. <clears throat> okay. And 
if we put an alif between the first and the second letter, it becomes kafir or kafirun because the person who does the kufr. So the person becomes ka firun. One person who did kufr. One disbeliever. Okay? He's all of the five. Hmm? Five. In the state of five. It's plural. One of the plurals is kuffar. Kuffar is the plural of this word. Kuffarun okay. is, so this is one person and this is plural. Plural means disbelievers. Okay. So that is the word kuffarun, while they were disbelievers, which means while they were in the state of disbelief. They died while they were disbelievers. Okay. So kuffarun is the plural, kafirun is one disbeliever, kuffarun means all those people who did kufr and they died while they were in the state of kufr, they were disbelievers. Okay. So this will be while they were disbelievers. They died while they were disbelievers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning what happens to them when they die while they are still disbelieving in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ula'ika is the word. Ula'ika means those people or such people. Okay. Now one thing I want to mention about pronouncing this word correctly. This word has is written like that. First of all, this wow has a little circle on this, which means do not pronounce wow. So do not sound like oo. Okay? Just alif with a um, hamza and a dhamma has to be pronounced lightly oo. If you try to pronounce with a wow, it will be sounding like oo. That's not the word. Because this little circle means this wow is not pronounced. So it's simple pronunciation, U. The other thing is that the next letter is a Lam with an Alif, La. Okay? But because of this Hamza, this Alif will carry a Mad. So you have to pronounce La long. U will be short, La will be long. Okay? Don't pro Most people just pronounce La. La has alif and mud, so it should be pronounced la ika. Ula ika. Okay? So this is correct pronunciation should be done by knowing exactly how these harakats should be pronounced. So ula ika means such people or those people. Such people. Such people means those who have died while they were doing the kufr. They were disbelieving. Okay? Alayhim means upon them. Alayhim is made of Allah and whom. Okay? Allah means upon and whom means them. So the meaning will be Allah means upon and whom means them. Okay. But when you write these together, this first letter can be written as Ya can be written like that. And whom 
because of this ya yeah, this sound <coughs> is also pronounced as him alai him even though separately the word is hum but because this ya yeah here for tajweed this dhamma is also pronounced as kasra so you pronounce alai him not alai hum okay separately it is hum but when it combines with this alai him upon them okay such are the people upon them okay what is upon them okay let's look at the next word now so the root letters are lam and and noon and this means to curse okay to curse someone is laana okay and i'll explain what is cursing or what laanat means if allah's mercy is removed that is the laanat okay if you wish someone that that person should be should have laana or cursed that means you are saying that that person should not have the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so removing of the mercy is the laana okay so that's what this okay and the noun is laanatun laanatun means curse We simply say laanat, but the full word is laanatun. When you stop, you say laana, but some in in we also say laanat, but the actual full word is laanatun, curse. Okay, and then the next word is Allahu. Okay, so. we have two nouns here one is laanatun and one is allahu if we combine these two words or plus two nouns we simply put in of in between and it becomes laanat of allah or the curse of allah okay in english you just put an of in between and these two becomes connected words laana laanatun and allah curse of allah how do we combine in, in arabic these two words these are the changes that take place you take these two dhammas and make one out of those you take this dhamma here and make kasra okay so this is equivalent to putting an of there in english these two things doing here is same as in english you put in of so when you pronounce now you can connect these two laanatullahi okay you will not pronounce this alif here laanatullahi laanatullahi means curse of allah full word is laanatullahi curse of allah so the rule is and we will go going to look at couple words after that that this word which was originally allahu it changes into kasra and it is pronounced as allahi so this word changes the mind to kasra in this word two dhamma change into one dhamma but in this word he this this is the word which is sending the curse so this word changes the mind to a kasra now if i take the next word and next word is malaikatun
मला एक अतुन मिस एंज प्लूरल वर्ड इज मलक मलाइका और मलाइका तो इज द प्लूर एंजल्स ओके नाउ तो दिस इज द वर्ड नाउ इफ आई पुट एन अल बिफोर दैट अल बीस द अल मीन्स द So when we put an al, then we don't pronounce two dhammas; we pronounce one dhamma here. So this becomes al malaika tu. So the word now becomes by the help of al, it becomes the angels. And original word which was malaika tun by itself, because of al, it will be pronounced. Al malaika tu, because al has the characteristic of changing to the must one. Okay, so now the word is the angels. Okay, now if I say curse of Allah, then we said the curse of Allah. We put it off here. If I say curse of ang of the angels. So now instead of Allah, now you have the angels. Okay. So when you combine la anatul lahi, this will become la anatul malaikati. Because this word has to have a kasra here. Allahu becomes Allahi, malaikato will become malaikati. And that's the word in the Quran, malaikati. So you should read. लानतुल्लाइंडिंग विदो इज कम्बाइनिंग विद मला that's the reason you the lanat is common to allah and malaika so curse of allah is upon those people who died while they were in the state of kufr and the curse of angels is upon them besides the curse of allah okay so wal malaikati and the angels okay So the curse of Allah and curse of the angels. Okay. So now, but there's one more word after that, <coughs> which is nasun. Nasun means pupil. Nasun means pupil. Okay. If I put al before that, this means the pupil. Al means the. Okay. So when you will read these together, al and nasu, this will be pronounced an nasu because noon will. Change the sound of lam, just like we say, "Kol auzu be rab bin nasi, an nasi." So the pronunciation will be al nasun combined will be an nasu. Al will change one dhamma, and lam will not be pronounced. So it will be an nasu. So this word will be written like that. Anasu, the people. Originally, it was Nasun and Al separately. When you combine them, 
its pronunciation will be annasu the pupil okay so if you notice that the word allahu had a dhamma at the end annasu had a dhamma at the end al malaikatu had one dhamma at the end okay but because of the word laanatun this change into allahi this change into malaikati this will change into annasi okay because one word is having effect on three words after that that's what we have so laanatu has the effect on the word allahu in it change to allahi this one was malaikatu it changed malaikati this was nasu annaso it changed to annasi why because everyone needs this off in between so lanat curse of allah curse of the angels curse of the people okay so this is so so people who did kufr disbelieved and they died wahum kuffarun while they were still disbeliever they did not return back to allah or they did not make tauba allah subhanahu wa taala says upon those people there will be curse of allah and the curse of the angels and the curse of the people okay and the people and then the word after that is ajmain so the, the word ajmain is from jim mim ain and this means to collect something to to put them together to add some things okay <clears throat> and ajmain means all of them together ajmain means all together all together means Allah, Malaika, and people—all of their curses is upon those people. Okay? So all together or all combined, okay, or all of them. <clears throat> so this is the punishment Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is mentioning for those people. who rejected or who disbelieved and they died <coughs> while they were in the state of kufr then those people will receive the curse of allah subhanahu wa taala and the angels and the people <coughs> and then allah subhanahu wa taala mentions that what happens to them because now they are dead okay so what is their punishment which is mentioned in the next ayat <coughs> 